Do you think you could beat Mr. Food in finishing that kitchen sink uh, ice cream? I think Sunday? I'd give him a run for his money there, but I'll tell you what, with the hot temperatures we have this weekend, that amount of ice cream probably would be fantastic, huh, Caitlin? Yeah, it's definitely going to be a great weekend to get some ice cream, but you're going to have to eat it fast because it's going to be a hot one. And we're going to have a warm day today, but definitely not as warm as this weekend. Taking a look outside right now, we're currently at 64 degrees here in Binghamton with winds from the south southeast at 8 miles an hour. And here's a wider view of satellite and radar. There's an area of low pressure making its way through Canada and upstate New York right now. And along with that is a very weak cold front. And that's what's going to be bringing some shower activity and maybe a thunderstorm to our area throughout this morning and into the early afternoon. But our area right now staying pretty quiet. Maybe a sprinkle or two out there in Delaware County. But other than that, we are staying quiet this morning and those showers will make their way into our area throughout this morning. Current temperatures right now are in the 60s. Green is at 66 degrees, Lyle at 67, Bingham, Binghamton and Conklin are both at 64 degrees, Appalachian and Spencer are both at 68, and Windsor is at 61 degrees. For today, we are expecting a few showers around, mostly in the morning and early afternoon, but the big story this week is definitely the heat this weekend. And those warmer temperatures, along with humidity, are going to be on the rise throughout this weekend, and they stick with us through next week, as well as a little bit of an unsettled pattern with almost daily rain and storm chances expected through next week. But those higher temperatures along with the higher dew points are going to create some very warm heat index values for today. Heat index shouldn't be much of an issue staying less than 90. So it's going to be warm today, but it's going to be even warmer for Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures on Saturday are expected to be in the upper 80s. So heat index values will be in the low 90s. But Sunday is going to be the warmest day of the weekend with high temperatures in the low 90s. And combined with those dew points, we're going to see heat index values in the mid to upper 90s. So it's going to be very important to stay cool and stay hydrated throughout this weekend. Future track over the next couple hours, keeping some scattered showers and mostly cloudy skies with us. And that shower activity continues throughout most of the morning. There's that weak cold front moving through. Maybe a heavier downpour or two, but mostly scattered showers throughout the morning into the early afternoon. But then as the day goes on, rain chances decrease and those rain showers start to taper off and move out of our area by 2 or 3 o'clock. Just a few isolated showers left in the area. And then by the early evening, maybe one or two showers with us. But for the most part, we are expected to stay dry throughout most of the afternoon and throughout tonight as well. Temperatures by 10 o'clock will be in the 70s, some places in the lower 70s, and then ranging all the way up into the upper 70s for a few spots by lunchtime. We're up into the upper 70s and high temperatures today are expected to top out in the low 80s. By this evening, we're still staying in the 70s and low temperatures tonight are expected to stay in the upper 50s and low 60s. For today, a high temperature of 81 degrees, partly sunny skies. Once again, we could see some scattered showers throughout this morning and into the afternoon. And here's a look at the rest of your seven day forecast. This weekend is going to be a hot one, a high temperature of 91 for Sunday, with just a slight chance of a few showers. And those warmer temperatures stick with us throughout the week, as well as those rain chances. Wednesday looks like our best chance for rain this week. All right, Caitlin, thank you. The time